in this video we're demonstrating wall taps I'm using two hands doing wall taps I'm really close to the wall and I'm pushing the ball back and forth into the wall as quickly as I can and making sure I've got good control I tried to do about 50 of these and then repeated times three here I'm moving over to my left hand um, it's my non-dominant hand but sometimes I need to do a little bit more work on this side so you can see me pushing the ball into the wall again work with 50 and repeat times three now I'm moving over to the right hand side obviously you can see I've got more control because this is my dominant side again 50 on this side and repeat times three Now we've just got a bit of variation going on, so you can start with two, then move it out onto your right, then move it out to your left. And you know, just keeping control, trying to get 50 tap in a variety of positions. And then able to move the ball from one side to the other. Again, 50, and then ties by three. So in this next part, we're moving on to target work. I have used um, post-it note to mark my target, so I've got one on the right, one on the left and one lower. I obviously want to hit my targets each time and be consistently um, doing that throughout. So I have one for my right hand to do my right hand shoulder pass, one for my left hand to do left handed shoulder pass and one central a bit lower down to do um, my chest passes. You could actually just use chalk to mark the wall or use bricks or whatever you have and just hit that consistently. I've now decided to add a bit of movement. So retrieve, land and turn. So I throw the ball over my head, retrieve the ball, turn, make sure I'm balanced and hit my target. I will do this 20 times on each and, re and repeat three times. It's always very good to add some movement within your target work. 